The purpose of the project is to um, identify single cell sort bacteria from uh, marine sponge and sea urchins here in Colt Bay with the goal being to um, see if we can culture these bacteria and for those that we can't culture to actually or just get a look at their genomes um, to see if they might encode genes that produce uh, compounds of interest. Compounds that can have anti-cancer, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory or neuroprotective properties. There's been a realization over the last couple of years um, that the wonderful uh, chemical diversity that people have found in a variety of marine invertebrates are actually produced not by the invertebrate itself but by the associated bacteria and sponges in particular have been shown to be a rich source of these uh, bioactive compounds which is why we're targeting sponges today. So the collection process is quite simple. For the sea urchins we pick them up and put them in a solution of magnesium chloride to euthanize the animals. For the sea sponges it's equally simple. We simply scrape them off the rocks but there's a bit more processing involved. So it's actually the liquid that's inside the marine sponge that we after where most of the bacteria reside. So we tend to squeeze the sponge to release the material. So we then add a, a cryopreservant to the solution and we freeze that away at minus 80 for later study or some of the solution we keep to immediately go back to the lab and see if we can culture these bacteria and single cell sort them. Further down the line from the cultures that we could establish uh, we'll test these for the presence of bioactive compounds and from the ones that we can't culture we'll analyze the genome sequences to see um, whether they encode pathways for secondary metabolism and um, we can then clone out those genes and express it in a heterologous strain in the lab again to look for these bioactive compounds. The long-term goal is to identify bioactive compounds that can serve as anti-cancer agents, antimicrobials, anti-inflammatories or neuroprotective agents.